Hey Star Hunters, it's me, Orion Sentry, coming at you with a slightly different video, more of a vlog type thing. I might make this kind of a thing I do of just what happens throughout my days and my life. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Orion Sentry. I'm a gaming streamer and YouTuber. My uh, profile is up in the corner over here for my League of Legends profile, just so you know who I am. So let's just dive right into what happened. Um... Whenever I am not doing internet stuff, I'm not working, I volunteer as part of an organization that does Star Wars themed stunt shows to advertise at, uh, to, for charitable events at sporting events. That's a lot of events for someone who doesn't go outside and runs out of breath going upstairs. That makes me sound a whole lot cooler than I am. And yeah, so I was at one of these events at a uh, baseball game, a minor league baseball game. I won't name any names of the companies or any of the parties involved uh, because it's not it's this isn't about pointing a finger at any one person and saying you're bad uh, this is about the general concept of this uh, and the thing that happened was I was there with one of the female performers we were standing out for a meet and greet before the uh, before the show started and one of these guy, a guy came by fist bumped us that he's was the MC of the uh, the place he was the guy who was the hype guy he had the goofy hat got on the microphone and said all kinds of crazy stuff to get the crowd hyped for you know the the between innings events or whatever or for the game or whatnot and he went you know fist pumped me went past me to one of the female performers fist pumped her it was just her and I and her friend uh, standing in this section to do meet and greets with fans and then fist bumped her friend and then he leaned in and like pushed past her friend to get up in this female performer's face and put his hand like in her face and was like you should smile more or and i and i i just i didn't even know how to react because like what who who does that like it this isn't even, like it's i'm not saying that it would be okay if it was just some random guy on the street saying you should smile more to a girl passing walking past i'll unpack that later on in this video um but this was a professional who is in charge of being the hype guy of, of the PR stuff at this event, talking to another performer in this invasive manner. And then he just walked past after invading her space, and she said, Sir, that's a very rude thing to say to a woman to tell her to smile for you which was completely within her rights to say. And then he whirled on her and started yelling at her about how, wow, she doesn't, she must not like men telling her what to do. He could tell her to smile if he wants to. And this just escalated into this complete pile of horse crud. And then he stormed off. And we went and talked to the organizer of our group. I went as a witness and then this escalated and a whole bunch of stuff happened. And that's not what I want this video to be about, uh, you know, because I don't know how much I could talk about the back and forth and all the stuff that happened after that. Um, what I want to talk about is that wasn't okay. And as she was relating how she was she, uh, throughout this course, she was explaining to me about the things that she went through on an everyday basis and how this was so aligned with how people treat her, I realized that there are men that think that talking to women like this, that catcalling, telling women to smile more, um, and this kind of verbal harassment is okay. And that, that shocks me. And that appalls me. And I wanted to just put this out there as like a PSA. No bad don't do that that's that's terrible and that is terrible on so many levels that i felt the need to do this to break down how many levels that's terrible on as best i can as as best i can as a man looking at this from the outside and as someone who's working to motivate my viewers to a successfully achieve their goals because yeah um one that thoroughly violates anyone that you do this to. That is a form of verbal harassment and abuse. Telling someone how to live their life and that they should smile more so that way they could be more attractive to you. Which 
is not your place to do whatsoever. Um, so it is it is harassment in the definition. And two, what does it accomplish legitimately? When I was trying to figure out how to do this video, I was debating doing research on if anyone anywhere has ever actually made any kind of meaningful connection with a woman that they met by catcalling. Be but I realized that's not a thing. No woman enjoys being catcalled, harassed, told to smile. Like, that's... That's not a thing. So it is both harmful and ineffective. And then I realized something. The men doing this know that it's not an effective way to meet women. They know that. None of them have any intentions of the woman actually turning around, walking up to them, and saying, you know, hey, you know, I guess I should smile more. Hey, you know, I'm glad you find me attractive. Hey, let's let's just go out sometime. That that doesn't happen. And that's not what the guy expects to happen. And that was the moment when I realized that this is just another example of men being piles of crud. Um and that's kind of depressing. That the that there are people who think this is okay, knowing full well that it won't accomplish anything useful and their only goal is to actually just abuse another human being. And that's a lot to unpack, and that's really, really depressing. Um, I, as an Uber driver, I hear stories of women being harassed by men all the time. All the time. Especially uh, before I started streaming, when I was primarily Ubering at night, I would hear all of these stories of women being... Like, they were just so grateful that I showed up when I did, because I was helping them escape from a terrible situation of, you know, a guy thinking because he bought her a slice of pizza that that entitled him to her body or that because, uh, you know, some XYZ thing that he was entitled to harass her and follow her home. Um, and, you know, or when a guy st starts up a conversation with a girl, starts hitting on her, they start completely getting going and build the, doing relationship building stuff. She goes to the bathroom and comes back and finds him making out with another woman who had no clue what was going on. That like I, I've heard so many horrible stories and like every time I hear these stories, it, as a man, it's uh, interesting for me to figure out well, it's difficult for me to figure out how I want to react. Because um, I was raised in a way where I want to defend my own. Um, but there's nothing defensible about this. There's, there's absolutely nothing defensible about this. Um, and then I started trying to just be better. Uh, but then I realized there's no way I could, I could be the best man in the world. I could be comforting and friendly to a million people, but it would not make up for all the terrible things that men have done. Um, but I, at the end of the day, all I can do is be the best person I can be. Um, and that's why I wanted to make this video to let you guys know something that I saw happen and to say just for all my viewers and for anyone who sees this video, that kind of behavior, catcalling, tell them to smile, harassing women in general, um, you just, it's not okay. Don't, don't do it. I, you shouldn't need someone to tell you no bad stop. But if you need someone to tell you, then hear someone telling you, no, bad, stop. Have a nice day and hunt those stars.